How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. So, we are on our way to Lubu um, in the Battle of Hulang One Pass. Um, we made it up to that battle flag that we were just at in the last episode on the upper ramparts. Uh, kind of went the backwards way, I guess you could say, and through this area. Um, just trying to uh, secure a better foothold in the, in the area, which is unfortunately on top of the ramparts. Um, so now we are going to be making our our way downwards uh, across the battlefield. So seeing if there's any guys we can hit with the ballista from here, but I don't believe so. Um, just if you recall, there is a trophy for killing five enemies with a ballista. So um, This little contraption right there, uh, that's how we would have come up here. Um, we will pick that down in a minute here. Take care of Mr. Monkey Man. Watching what I'm doing here. Thought he was a lower level on this on this side. But he's close to the other close to the level of the other monkey. Okay, so get that chest. Take out the monkey. And now we are heading downwards. Uh, right down here is a marker flag. This wizard and take out the blister guy. Plant that flag. Now there is a there is an invasion uh, down here. Um, it could be a NPC or it could be a player. Uh, so just be aware of that. a friend over here throwing some fire bombs. Okay. So this is how we would have gotten up on the ramparts. Oh. Some more guys want to come play. Step right up, step right up. One at a time. them taken care of. God, that didn't... <laughs> that didn't work out very well. As you can see, these guys are lower level down here. As I said in the previous episode, this is the this is the path that the game wants you to take on your way up there. Take out another sleepy guy here. Now if we would have wouldn't have killed uh, the guys over there. Um, we could have taken them out with the ballista here. We can take out him. We'll item up here. Rank for leather. Oh, hey. Okay. 
yet another ballista. As you can see, there are plenty of opportunities to use these throughout the level. So I feel you guys will have no problem getting the trophy. I would jump down on him, but there's a guy over there. Let's sneak up on his ass. Now, just be careful over here. This is uh, this is actually where the invasion or the invader can pop up. So sometimes they can pop up while you're trying to. If you are going this way, if you're fighting this guy, and the invader can try to join the party. Okay, so we're gonna kick this down. Oh my god, missed my jump. Like I said before, you, you're gonna have the ballista guys shooting at you over here. Okay. Got a free heal there. Oh, buddy. Got about you wandering around there. Tell you that is a nasty combo. Okay, so over here is a little spot you can get by in the ravine, and there is a marker flag up here. This one was very sneaky. Missed this one on my first playthrough. In saying I missed it, I, you know, I missed it initially, and then it took, I don't know how long running around trying to find it. So, so I did find it. It just took a minute. Uh, one of the, um, like the mid, the mid-level ballistas, you can uh, shoot and hit this guy right here with it. Just an FYI. very perplexed as to why the invader is not popping up yet. He should have popped up by now. Now, I have seen him pop up uh, one over here fighting the mini-boss. There is a mini-boss, like, um, kind of in the middle here, like right before the big door is leading into Lubu. Um, this guy over here. So here's a grab a tablet. We'll worry about him in a minute. But yeah, I've been fighting. I was fighting the mini boss at one point, and uh, the invader decided to pop in then. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because that get a little dicey. So as you can see, we are back to uh, how we went up onto the ramparts. So we're gonna take out our tiger friend over here. Oh, he made the jump this time.
back. Yeah. Our lightning attack power is coming along pretty nicely. So now heading into the ravine, uh, you saw we got a cicada shell there. Let's let Mr. Tiger turn back around. Could jump again, but I'm sure I'd be right on top of him if I did. Those, those guys. Another fellow over here. Okay. Okay, so we are back at that battle flag now. What I would like to do is, before we face off against the mini boss, let's go back up top to the battle flag. There's another another piece of loot that I mentioned in the last episode. Ah, here it is. Rank 5 the leather. Okay. So yeah, I want to go up here, rest up, um, potentially change a couple spells, and then face off against a mini-boss, and then loop it. I know we, we already killed these guys, but... So the reason why, as well, that I want to come back up here is um, we can, uh, I mean, you could do it from down below, but you there's a little spot where you can get a uh, plunging attack on the mini boss. You could wait till he turns around or whatever. If you're down below, but let's be honest. I mean, it's it's a lot more fun jumping on somebody's head, you know. Actually, that isn't even the battle flag that I want to rest up. Um, it's the one over here. There's a little drop down spot. All right. 
So we are going to level up. Yeah, that looks good. wizardry spells here. So I think I'm going to change out life wither for elemental plague. So the idea with elemental plague is uh, you cast that and the status effects that are on an enemy will last longer. So it's going to be especially useful against Lubu. Yeah. That drop down spot is right over here, I think. Yep. Yeah. So you see him right there. Oh, God. Really? Okay. Lunge on him. Lightning up. Watch out for those red attacks. Poison him up real good. Oop, got me with that. Okay. Mm -mm, get that out of here. And that too. That spirit damage he's taking. There we go. Damn. Just melted that dude. That is the idea with this build. Just eating away at people's spirit. Getting those critical attacks. And that is exactly the plan for Lubu. So let's talk about Lubu. So this fight is a very tough fight, as I mentioned. Um, and it is a fight that you want to be patient for. You want to let Lubu do his thing, come at you, and respond accordingly. Deflect, um, do whatever, and pick your spots to attack. Do not rush him and, you know, rush to right towards him because... And be hyper aggressive because it's going to end badly. So just sit back and wait for him, to wait to see what he's going to do and respond accordingly. It's, I mean, it's going to take a minute to understand the, the, the moves. I mean, look at him, he's a badass. All right, so here we go. He starts off on horseback and has that one red attack. And he does the ranged attack, as you can see. He does a swipe with his halberd, like that. More ranged attacks. So once you get his spirit bar, that's the other red attack. Once you get his spirit bar um, all the way down, all the way down, you will knock him off his horse. And that's where he alternates to his, his uh, where he's on his feet. And he will go back and forth between being on his feet and being on horseback. So these are really just the moves of the horseback mode right now. Those red attacks, you want to deflect uh, quicker than you think you're going to have to. That one, pretty easy to tell. Now you can use ice to put out his fire on his weapon. It's a very... Nice tactic. I had ice in the let's play, so it worked out pretty well. That is a, the, probably about the easiest red attack to deflect. 
So we're trying to beat him down with lightning and do a little poison, even though he's going to cancel out the poison with his fire. He's trying to get as much spirit damage on him as we can here. That's another red attack. It's like the dragon flash, pretty much. This, if you're not good at deflecting that, which I'm surprised I just got that, uh, you can go to the side and uh, he will miss you. It is kind of, that is a devastating attack and it's hard to, uh, it's actually hard to deflect. That one where he jumps in the air and comes down, not that, but the, the regular attack. It's uh, a little hard to deflect that one. You have to get the timing down on it. And that combo is super nasty. Watch out for that one. Alright, so trying to get more damage on him now. Bringing out the Divine Beast. He hit me with those arrows, but he's taking some stone damage, which is good. That jumping attack is what I was talking about previously. So now he's going back on his horse. Same moveset. Deflect the arrows. Watch out for the red attack. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, but I got that. See, that lightning is eating away at his spirit, which is a good thing. Got him again. Off horse back again. Now you gotta wa watch out for his horse too because it runs in that in that circular pattern around there. If you get in the way, it's gonna hit you. You can see. I mean, he's 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 relentless. So you just gotta be patient and wait for your spots to attack, like you see me doing here. There we go. That's it. Watch this shit. Hey, <laughs> bent your sword. God. It's like I said before. Probably, uh, my opinion, the toughest fight in the game, but the best fight in the game. Absolutely fantastic. They they did a great job with that fight. Now there is a there is another boss later on that gave me a lot of problems initially on my let's play. Um I'm hoping that uh he's not gonna be a problem this time around, but uh we'll see. So this is the next main mission, but I believe next time um, we are going to do, uh, actually, yeah, next time we will do this mission. There is a side mission that popped up, um, just a, a duel. Uh, we will save that for later when we have a few of them. Uh, we can kind of lump them all together in one episode. Um, so that is it for this one. We will continue in the next one. Hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.